40 verse 2 says, He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and the mire, and set my feet upon a rock. There's a modern day parable of a man who falls into a pit, and the man is there in the pit lost and with no way out. And Confucius walks past and he says, if you had have only listened to me, you wouldn't be in that pit. And then Buddha walks past. He looks at the man, he says, your pit is only a state of mind. And then he walks away. And then Muhammad comes, he looks at the man, he says, if you follow the five pillars, you will surely leave your pit. And then walks away. Jesus comes along, he kneels down, he crouches and bends into the hole, into the pit, and he pulls the man out. You see, there is only one who can pull you out of your pit. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 says he, he calls us from darkness into light. I want to tell you this. Remember the one who pulled you out of your pit. Remember the one who called you from darkness into light. That is not an easy moment to forget. It is a special moment. It should be etched in your mind. There is only one Savior. There is only one hand. Remember the one who rescued you. book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 we read that God puts eternity in the heart of man. When I became a Christian I was in a place of fear, I was in a place of uncertainty and anxiety. I was experiencing what I can describe as a tug of war. The devil was pulling me one way into a place of fear and death and torment and then I would be pulled another way by Jesus into a place of peace and hope. But the Lord said, you've got to decide, you've got to choose which one you want. You see, the eternity was in there, but it was going to, I was going to live in eternity one way, heaven or hell. I had to make that decision. And the grace of God is so great that he reaches out his hand, he pulls us out of that pit and he says, now you choose which one do you want. And I chose to accept the gift of God and I realized that I had eternity inside of me, but now my eternity was guaranteed in heaven with Christ. In Romans chapter 6 verse 23 we read the wages of sin is death but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. When you receive the gift of eternal life you know you have it. I often tell people if I gave you my phone and you go home to a family member and they ask is that your phone you'd say yeah because when you receive a gift you know it's yours just like Christmas Day you open that gift it does not belong to the giver it belongs to the receiver and it is the same with eternal life. When Jesus gave you that gift of eternal life, it's such a monumental, beautiful gift. You know you have it. But my question to you is, what are you doing with that gift? You see, Jesus, he said in Revelation 2 verse 4, he spoke to his church and he said a rebuke. He said, you've forgotten your first love. Have you forgotten your first love? When you know Jesus is the Messiah, we must stay in that place of communion, listening to his voice, knowing his will, and falling more in love with him. God bless you guys. Love him more in Jesus' name. We want to thank you for watching. If you want to know more about Shake the Nations Ministries and our YouTube channel, why don't you click the subscribe button? Also, if you want notifications of our brand new videos, why don't you click the bell? There's so much more in Shake the Nations Ministries that you can get involved in. Why don't you click also the link to our website to find out more. To find out more about our humanitarian arm, Hope of All Nations, make sure you click the Hope of All Nations button where you can learn about us taking the gospel to thousands of children around the world and our work in the ground of the nation of Honduras. We can't wait to see you next time.